I apologize, but no, no apologize. No, there, there's no way he get he get demolished. But for for what he's doing, for what he's doing, as long as they keep getting uh you um YouTubers and and keep putting them in there, putting them putting them in there with MMA guys, yeah. that's you know that's kind of over the hill. He's gonna continue to shine. So I'm proud of him. What's up, fight fans? Today, we've got some explosive news straight out of the boxing world. Floyd Money Mayweather has something to say about Jake Paul's upcoming fight with none other than Mike Tyson. Yeah, you heard that right. The legendary Floyd Mayweather just dropped a bombshell warning Jake Paul to back out while he still can. But why would Floyd, who's boxed both old school legends and new school influencers, feel the need to speak out? Let's break down why Floyd thinks Jake's stepping into dangerous territory. Spoiler alert, it's way deeper than a simple warning. All right, let's rewind. The internet broke when Jake Paul, the YouTube sensation turned boxer, announced his plans to fight Mike Tyson. Yes, the Iron Mike Tyson. Now, these two fighters couldn't be more different. Jake's a 20-something YouTuber with nine wins and one loss, while Tyson's a heavyweight legend with the strength to back it up even in his late 50s. Sure, Jake has gotten better at boxing since he started, but let's face it, he's nowhere near Tyson's level. Tyson's last exhibition, bout against Roy Jones Jr. showed he still got that power and ferocity that made him an icon. But wait, let's talk about that age difference. But Floyd? Well, he's not exactly hyped for it. If anything, he's warning Jake to pump the brakes, back out, and think this one through. Why? Because, according to Floyd, stepping into the ring with a legend like Mike isn't just risky, it's potentially career-ending. Fight the world's been waiting for. In one corner, we've got Mike Tyson, one of the most dangerous men to ever step foot in a boxing ring. We're talking about a guy who made a name for himself, knocking out his opponents within seconds. His power, his aggression, his mental game, Tyson's a whole different beast. And yeah, he's older now, in his late 50s. But don't let that fool you. His recent training clips? Insane. His speed, reflexes, and raw power are still there. Tyson looks like he's ready to eat Jake Paul alive. Then there's Jake Paul. Love him or hate him, Jake's changed the face of boxing in recent years. He's not just a YouTuber anymore. He's turned himself into a legit boxer, taking down names and building a reputation that's hard to ignore. Jake's young, he's got stamina, and he's got millions of loyal fans who believe he's the future of boxing. <laughs> Don't charge at me, Tyson. Drink Celsius. But when it comes to pure skill, let's be real. Tyson's got decades of experience and power that's hard to match. So why is Floyd so against this fight? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, let's talk about Tyson's power. Floyd knows what it's like to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best, but Tyson is on another level entirely. Floyd's been quoted saying that Jake is messing with fire and that Tyson's the type of fighter you don't want to underestimate, even in an exhibition match. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. Look at, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How's he gonna knock me out? Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here just stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. One of the biggest reasons Floyd is against this fight is Jake's lack of experience. Floyd has fought top tier fighters throughout his career, but he's always done it with a level of respect for the sport. To Floyd, boxing isn't just a game or a publicity stunt. It's a lifestyle that demands respect. He sees Jake treating it more like a sideshow. 
Floyd's made it clear he respects Jake's hustle, but he thinks there's a line between ambition and recklessness. In Floyd's eyes, Jake is toying with something he doesn't fully understand. And then there's the fact that Tyson isn't just any opponent. This is a man who used to send his opponents to the hospital, who once bit a piece off of Evander Holyfield's ear. Floyd says that Jake might be thinking too much about the spotlight and not enough about the beating he could take. I'm just curious if you saw uh, Jake Paul's fat body videos and if you think he's taking his training seriously for you. Uh, listen, I think he's taking it very, very seriously because his health depends on it. <laughs> and yeah, he's, 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 he's not, yeah, he's no way I'm looking at, um, I'm not looking past him and taking him right like there at all. What was the biggest motivation to take this fight? Because you don't have anything to prove. You already are the greatest. I don't know. I, I kind of dig being seen by 80,000 people in my life. Yes. Thank you. Here's the thing. Tyson isn't in his prime, but he's still a massive threat. Recently, he had a health scare, which, for a while, threw this fight into question. Reports said Tyson experienced some health issues, specifically an ulcer flare-up. That's serious stuff. While Tyson has assured fans he's good to go, some experts argue that his age combined with these kinds of health risks make this a bad idea. Tyson's still got that fighter mentality, and he's ready to prove he's still dangerous, no matter his age. How long do you think this thing will last? Not long, as soon as I catch him, because he's gonna run like a thief. I don't, I don't see how he's gonna make an exciting fight by running all day. You know, he's supposed to be the young guy. He's supposed to walk right through me. I'm an old man. He's gonna run all night. Tyson's been training like a beast, and his videos are proof that he's taking this fight seriously. The man looks like he's ready for war, not to mention he recently knocked out his sparring partner. Yep, that happened. Let's get into that for a minute, because Mike knocking someone out in sparring definitely spices things up a lot. First things first, this isn't just another day at the gym for Mike. He's training for a huge comeback, and he's not taking it lightly. At 58, Mike isn't just showing up to spar, he's going all out. Word on the street is that during a recent session, he caught his sparring partner with a brutal hook that sent the guy crashing to the canvas. Tyson's knockout of his sparring partner is a warning shot, demonstrating that he's still capable of delivering serious power, even at this stage of his career. <laughs> And you know what? Jake Paul's camp is feeling the heat. The word is that they're strategizing hard, trying to find a way to deal with Tyson's explosive punches. But let's keep it real. There's no blueprint for handling someone like Mike Tyson. In contrast, while Jake is putting in the work with his own sparring sessions, he's not exactly knocking people out like Tyson. Tyson's experience and skill set are unparalleled, and his mindset of proving his dominance adds another layer to this fight. There's a reason why experts like Joe Rogan favored Tyson to win this fight despite his age, and it's showing. Mike Tyson, people talk shit to. People are, there's so, certain people that are just crazy, man. Well, speaking of Mike Tyson, just these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, that like this shouldn't even like he because he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah. Because the, the, here's the thing: he is 57 years old. He he will be 58 when they fight. He he has had a long fighting career. He he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And, you know, it's yeah. long, you know, long past the time where most people ever fight. Expect Jake's team to be on high alert. They're probably watching Tyson's training videos on repeat, trying to figure out some kind of strategy to deal with the pressure that Iron Mike brings. But let's be real. I'm definitely a little bit scared, you know. This is the toughest fight I've had to date against the most experienced opponent. It's at heavyweight, and Tyson's dropping people in sparring. He looks the best shape 
and the strongest he's ever been is what his coaches are saying. And so I know on November 15th, it's going to be a war, but I just plan on outboxing him and, and showing the world what I'm capable of and coming alive in the moment. And Jake Paul was initially set to go head to head with Mike Tyson back in July. Picture this, the problem child versus Iron Mike. Mike Perry, the platinum piercing punk. Yeah, you heard me right. He became a punching bag for Paul in the ring and ended up getting knocked out cold. Jake Paul looked impressive against Mike Perry when they fought back in July, but make no mistake, Mike Tyson is a real threat. He's not some retired MMA fighter. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. At the end of the day, Tyson's knockout of his sparring partner isn't just a random incident. It's a reflection of his state of mind as he approaches the fight with Jake Paul. Honey, what do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? That fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. They're going to fight, huh? Yeah, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> Lennox Lewis, Tyson's former opponent, is concerned for Jake's health going into this fight, and you can't really blame him. If you've seen the way Tyson has been training, you'd be concerned for Jake too. I want to talk to you about your old mate, Mike Tyson, returning to the ring at the, uh, the ripe old age of, I believe, 58 or 59 years of age. Your opinion on that, of course, as somebody who, you know, you've been rivals with Mike, you've known Mike for many, many years. Uh, a lot of people concerned about him returning to the ring against Jake Paul. What are they concerned about? And, you know, of a certain vintage, should we say, should he be getting hit in the head by, admittedly, you know, not a conventional boxer, but still a young, physically fit, athletic man? Yeah, I mean, Mike Tyson knows how to defend himself, and he's boxing against a guy that not as good as boxer as he is, and Mike Tyson knows how to throw a good punch, he knows how to break you down, so I'm more concerned about the other guy than Mike Tyson. To wrap things up, Floyd's last message to Jake is clear. This isn't just another YouTube stunt. This is real boxing, and one wrong move could change everything. Floyd's urging Jake to think about the consequences, to remember that he's stepping into the ring with a legend who's known for ending careers. Floyd's hoping Jake will understand that sometimes the best fights are the ones you don't have to take. For Floyd, backing out isn't cowardly. It's wise. He wants Jake to realize that he's risking it all for a fight that could end in disaster. But here's the catch. With Floyd, things aren't always this straightforward. And they aren't. I mean, Floyd wouldn't be running his mouth this much over Jake's well-being and career if it didn't benefit him in any way. Floyd knows a fight with Jake could pull in major views and cash easily outshining anything Tyson could bring to the table. By acting all caring and supportive, Floyd is trying to create this narrative that he's just looking out for Jake, while he's really just trying to secure a big opportunity for himself. In the boxing game, it's all about staying relevant, and Floyd's figured out that teaming up with Jake is the perfect way to grab some attention and re-establish his brand. At the end of the day, it's not really about Jake's safety. It's about Floyd securing that lucrative matchup and reigniting his legacy against one of the hottest names in the sport right now. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.